And we're live. This is the George Show, but a special episode. We are creating a new set to help you create new sets like this. This is how we're doing it. If you look behind me, I have two windows open. This one here is the Skype window with John in Greece. Say hi, John. Hi, guys. Hey, hi. John here. So John is, hi, creating, John is creating this set. And what we want to do is analyze it. So what we're doing is we're using Get a Room in Heartbeat, and here's how it works. In this window, I have a synchronized viewing experience. So if I skip ahead and I say, John, look at this moment, you see what happens? In his screen, in the, in the Skype window here, it automatically uh, jumps to that point. And if I stop the video, then it'll also stop the playback here. So here I'm going to uh, tell John, uh, John, I like how you jumped into or zoomed into the scene right here. Uh, where you have the desk uh, that's uh, currently zoomed out and then at this point I'm going to play a few seconds and you zoom right in and isn't that cool? So, But before John uh, replies, I want to show you how this works. All, all you do is you install Heartbeat and then you have this um, get a room icon right here, link beneath every video. When you click it, it opens up Heartbeat in a global chat, so you can see what everyone's chatting. This is like a YouTube-wide chat. And then you simply click Video Chat, and then this Shared Viewing. If you and your friend who is analyzing a video, or, or a team who are analyzing a video, click the Shared Viewing, then everyone who jumps in the video, every other video who's got Shared Viewing enabled, will jump to that same point. The only thing that's not synchronized is the audio control. So if I make audio louder or quieter, that doesn't get synchronized because everybody will have a different preference for their audio levels. But if it's pausing, the point in the playback, um, that gets synchronized across all audiences. So here is a real world session, guys, of how we're using Heartbeat Get a Room to be more productive, to create this new George Show set that I hope you'll enjoy. And I hope you will use the same technique when you are building your own sets or collaborating with others. All right, so let's go. Hi, John. <laughs> Hello, George. Hello. And then, yeah, that is a brilliant tool, boss. It's a very, very good tool. So uh, we're going to start at the beginning, John. Uh, this is the set that you created for the new George Show set, where I have. I'm going to mute myself here where I uh, have a desk and there's a lot more going on in the set. We have this nice blue wall uh, on the right. Uh, we have some new TVs. And then what I, what I asked John to do was to be able to zoom in so it looks like the current George show, which just happened, um, where I am uh, just uh, in the corner with the screen and very little else interrupting the view behind me. So John, your, your comment was that this desk didn't really look like a desk when, you're, when I'm zoomed in. It looks like... Um, I don't know, uh, like what, what would you say it looks like? Yeah, I definitely boss. I don't think it looks, the, the desk, once you go to this angle, doesn't look good. Um, the fact that this is actually the top of the desk, but unfortunately to get the full screen in the angle, um, yeah, it, it just doesn't look very convincing as a desk. At, at the same time, we're concerned very badly about this edit in the sense where the complexity, this was done in Vegas, this is a Vegas set. So mm -hmm. the complexity of the edit in Vegas will actually become very complicated. We've got the backdrop here where you can see all the splices. So every time we do a, a, a change in camera, it requires all these different splices to be aligned up and done continually, which does actually put a lot of stress on the edit time, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, that kind of thing. Although I do like the crisp and the clarity of the Vegas edit, I'm the lack of lighting and the lack of motion control is something that's worrying us quite a bit in, in, in pursuing it with the Vegas kind of style, you know? Mm -hmm. um, th 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 that's where we're at right now, George, on, on this one. We, we could take a look at the um, After Effects version, which okay. definitely gives us a lot more um, control. So I see here that the, uh, the reflection in the like the blue pillar you could see it reflecting in the in the tile floor the glossy floor and that was rendered correct. in after effects right correct no, th this is a cinema no um this one here is still a vegas edit okay. the, the thing is these were those reflections we're seeing right now were done in cinema 4d 
and, and they come through. But now this does not create reality in, in the sense where we are not getting any lighting from the screens coming That's across true. on the floor. Okay. This is that something that the after we can now if we take a look at the um, After Effects edit. In there, mm -hmm. we have compromised. We have actually put in reflections and, and light warped everything. We will actually acoustically reflect the lights as um, mm -hmm. as so it um, I, happened. I, I, I just clicked uh, the After Effects link, and here it is. So uh, can you also go to get a room uh, in the After Effects link, John, and enable shared viewing? Let's get a room. Brilliant. So I'm just making some conversation while we're waiting here. Uh, hi guys, welcome to Heartbeat Get a Room in the video chat. And then if you go to the global chat, you'll see my message here and uh, it says, hi guys, welcome to Heartbeat Get a Room. Also, my icon appears at the beginning because I the latest chatter. So the person who makes the latest message gets his icon in the in the top left corner. And then if you click the, your icon, you have this little profile page which shows you how many rooms you've visited, how many conversations you're in, um, and you can also in the settings specify your YouTube channel. So my YouTube channel is YouTube.com/freedom. So if I save that. Yeah then I go to my icon, then it'll show me my YouTube channel. So anyone can visit my YouTube channel um, who clicks my icon in Heartbeat Get a Room. And um, uh, we'd love to hear your feedback, guys, on, on how this works. And how am I putting myself into the video? I'm using XSplit with the automatic chroma key feature that's available even in the free version of XSplit. So, this is a really cool feature where we don't have to do any post-production. We're just going to upload this video live as soon as it's done. So um, here we go. Uh, so, so John is in the uh, get a room. He's clicked the shared viewing experience. So now as I'm jumping around the video, it's also seeking, uh, syncing, synchronizing with John's uh, position. But the cool thing is it's bi-directional. So if John seeks, I, it also jumps for me. So uh, go ahead, John, please take us through this After Effects version of the new George Show set. The, the, George, this tool is amazing. Yeah, um, let's take a look at this one now. What happens here is, if, if you can notice in the beginning here, we've got your reflection in the desk. Mm -hmm. And of course, on the bottom floor here, where on the other one was just the blue, you'll actually see the reflection of the screen itself, of which is video. casting light mm -hmm. on, on the floor. At the same time, there is slight, um, on your green screen character, you'll find that there's also light warping there. The part that I like a lot about the After Effects edited part, um, and of course, of course, it takes a lot longer to edit, although not multiply screened, it's going to be about the same as Vegas, because once you're going into multi-screen, I think it's actually more convenient in After Effects. Um, mm -hmm. What happens here now is we've added motion to the camera consistently through the footage. So it adds a bit more motion while, if you watch, you know, the camera is constantly moving around a little bit as you're watching the video, plus all the lighting. And then, of course, when she, we have used a more natural zoom in, where now that we've zoomed in, um, you'll see the desk still looks more like a desk. And, of course, you still got your reflections of the desk, and all the lighting is still doing its thing, boss. So this is the After Effects version. Um, in a in a nutshell, so it gives us that kind of more control uh, over the edit. Although both will definitely become quite a lot longer than the normal, but we'll we'll work out ways to actually streamline them once we got the assets to a, a, a part we're happy with. Okay, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this demo of how we are using Get a Room in Heartbeat. Tell us down there in the comments below which set you prefer. Do you prefer the first set with Vegas or do you prefer the second set with After Effects for The George Show? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Exactly. And guys, sorry boss, at the same time, if you guys would like to give us some advice on what you, you know, changes that we'd like to see in the set as well or things that are like, you know what I mean, that like us to add or remove, that kind of thing, that would be great as well, George. I agree. Thanks, John, and thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next episode of <laughs> The George yeah. Show. George Show. All right. Bye-bye.